this slicing technology where you can customize experiences for different segments in the market mm. and be able to monetize it. It's no secret that a lot of carriers seemed very unhappy with 5G when they deployed it and you know there was some half-hearted 5G deployment, you know, 4G in the core, 5G at the edge. And that's, I think, a misinterpretation of what 5G was really for. How did you overcome uh, those issues? So for us, 5G became, we're all in. Like, what is the potential of 5G? Rather than, let's do it a little bit and see if we get away with it. Yeah. Which we, <laughs> we simply, it's not us. Yeah. So what we did was we made the large investment. We, from the beginning, deployed, for example, a 5G standalone core, uh, which now when I'm here you know, at Mobile World Congress, I can see everybody's starting to see, look, they can really do something with that. And they're going like, what should we do? We did already in 2020, we launched our 5G standalone core. We've tuned it and worked with it. We were able during 22, 23 to start to use network slicing, for example, which has been absolutely game changer in terms of how we can now use capabilities that we dreamt up when 5G was once standardized, mm. this slicing technology, where you can customize experiences for different segments in the market mm. and be able to monetize it. And you know, we started up by doing a bunch of sports events with this to just prove the technology out and now we're using it in our enterprise business. A couple of weeks ago we launched a T-Priority Slice which is the first slice in the world for first responders, giving them the priority they need in order to service uh, difficult situations for police or fire brigade and such.